In this lesson, we will learn how to add an appointment. First step is to choose the time where you want to add the appointment. In this case, let's say 10 o'clock. As you can see, the appointment will be from 10 a.m. to 10.09 a.m. This is a 10-minute appointment. You click on the button, and then the box comes out in which you can search the patient that you're trying to make the appointment for. In this case, let's choose a test patient called Partis. So you search it and you get in this case only one selection so it automatically jumps in um, and then you can see if this patient is has been just booked the appointment or registered the appointment or maybe you were going to put it the appointment in the room uh, usually if it's let's assume this is just a walk-in patient who's going to be waiting so we will choose walk-in registered once the walk-in goes into the room you say walk in the room and once they're out of the room, you would change their status to empty room. But in this case, let's just choose walk-in registered. And then all you have to do is add appointment. So you have added the appointment. The next step is to check eligibility to make sure that the patient's care card, should they have one, is valid. If they have a card from another province, Ontario, then you won't be able to check eligibility. To check eligibility, which you should do every time you add a patient, you click on the master file and then you just click check eligibility. This little box will come up and as you can see it will say that uh, there is no restriction and that it's eligible on date of service. If the care card is not eligible, there will be a red text here saying not eligible, not valid. So it's important to look for this red writing because that's the only time you'll be able to see that this patient's care card is not valid. So now you've checked the um, uh, eligibility you're going to next check their phone number let's assume that you want to edit then you want to add the phone number because there's not one here you click edit let's just increase the window so we can see better you put their home phone as 999-9999 and also check their address 123 road Vancouver, British Columbia. Make sure that the provinces are correct. If it's another province, for example Alberta, you'd have to change both of these. And then you just update the record. And so this patient has been inserted in the schedule. Their status is, you can just click here, is walk-in registered. For example, if you want to put them in the room, you can either go on here uh, and you can change the status. Another quick thing would be just to click on this little button and then it changes the status to walk-in in room. So now this walk-in is seeing the patient. Once they're done and they've left the room, make sure that you change the make to change the status to empty room. The reason for that is to show the the doctor that this patient is out of the room. Uh, you keep track of who's in and out and if the if this the, the this this uh, entry is blue that would be called build and you should never do this but once it's build I'll just for this example show you if it's billed it's blue you don't touch it because that means it's been billed you don't need to put empty room some of the doctors will bill as you go uh, as they go through from patient to patient other patients or, or other doctors will just um, not bill right away and so in those cases 
uh, you should choose empty room as the status. In this case, just leave it as it is, and then you can put in the next patient, and uh, so on and so forth. So that's a little overview about how to add appointments into, again, this is an example where the patient exists already. We will, in another lesson, learn how to add a new patient.